NBC Today plays Executive Shuffle. The Weather Channel's winter storm names, uh, universally hated, and all rise as a landmark media case continues on Judge and Jury. This is the TV News.TV for Wednesday, November 14th, 2012. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, D.C., and we lead with the obligatory executive producer shuffle at NBC Today, which had to happen in the wake of today's fall from the top of the heap in morning news and talk. Gone is EP Jim Bell, and in is new EP Alex Wallace. And will a change like this be a game changer for NBC today? Stay tuned. Hey, last week we kind of lightly chided the Weather Channel for going ahead in naming winter storms. Even though the National Weather Service and local weather casting stars well, they put TWC on notice that they were totally not on board. Well, it turns out that we were the nice guys in all of this. The most vicious critics of the Weather Channel? Why, their very own fans on Facebook. We monitored 1,000 comments about the Weather Channel's winter storm names, and it broke down like this. 999 hated it. One, and only one, kind of said it was okay. And here's a sample of the self-inflicted vitriol that the Weather Channel has suffered, delivered by their own legions of fans on Facebook. Quote, as a meteorology student, this gimmick is reckless and stupid. Quote, please stop naming winter storms. You have no such authority. Quote, one of the stupidest ideas ever. You are supposedly professionals. Act like it. Quote, the Weather Channel, not a bunch of nine-year-olds with big computers, or are you? Quote, this is like weather terrorism, unquote. So now we address the Weather Channel Brain Trust directly. Okay, folks, fans have spoken 1,000 to 1 against this strategy. So what are you going to do? Are you going to listen to your customers or blunder on blindly? The latter course will only tell those that care about you, that you don't care about them, their wants, or their needs. And quite frankly, that flies in the raison d'etre for social media itself, and that is to create an ongoing, positive, and two-way, let me repeat that, two-way relationship with your customers. And now, with all that being said, your move, the Weather Channel. This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Time to all rise for an update on a major media case, courtesy of Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson, in our exclusive Judge and Jury. All rise! On Wednesday, November 7th, Fox confirmed that a California district court denied its request to have that port block dishes commercial skipping Hopper DVR service. Now, Fox claimed that it was disappointed that the court didn't find that there were damages stemming from that infringement request, which warranted a preliminary injunction against Dish. And they said that they plan to appeal that part of the decision, as well as another portion of the decision relating to Dish's prime time anytime service. Well, Dish read the court decision quite differently, and according to R. Stanton Dodge, who is Dish's executive VP and general counsel, he said that Dish is gratified that the court sided with consumer choice and control by rejecting Fox's efforts to deny their customers access to prime time, anytime, and ad hoc. Well, two days later, on Friday, November 9th, Fox did in fact file an appeal to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, asking again the court to block Dish's auto hop ad skipping function. Now, apparently, because the California District Court did not have an open decision, in fact, the case was sealed, we have no way of confirming whether or not it decided for or against Fox's allegation that there was a copyright infringement. Let's watch the case very closely as it progresses through the U.S. Court of Appeals. All rise! The TV News Judge and Jury is brought to you by TVLegalNews.com, featuring media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson. Log on to tvlegalnews.com. Okay, unlike certain aforementioned cable information networks, 
We want to hear your thoughts, good or even not so good. That's called a genuine conversation. And to this end, here are all of our social media coordinates. Now, if you would like to be a sponsor of the TV News, we'd love to have you right here with us. To get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the TV News TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We thank you very much for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. What if you could combine the impact of traditional TV on air promotion with the relationship building power of social media? Now you can with Soma Promotion, only from American Ingenuity Media. To get your Soma email, tgrim at americaningenuitytv.com.